Hello, this is part 2 of my helicopter animation tutorial. Before we get to the animation first, we'll talk about my website. Apart from coding, I have many other hobbies, such as guitar, poems, coding, stories, drawing, photos, and creations. Here's an example. If you click on drawings, you will see my various artworks. I've also added artist tips and drawn many animals and birds. I've drawn mis miscellaneous objects, people, a guitar, a pillar box, watercolour paintings, and one of my favourite topics, supercars, such as this Ferrari, Mercedes-Benz, Bugatti, and Lamborghini. I've also drawn this jet, the Cirrus Vision Jet, and the Le Mans um, 24 hours car. I have also done a lot of coding. Is my helicopter animation, pure HTML, JavaScript, and CSS. Comes with a nice description and animation. You can click the button to take off and land. Here are the animations video which I've posted before. You'll be seeing this video shortly. I have also done various others. page or interactive. So now let's get back to the animation. As you have seen before, I have a passion in both coding and drawing, and those are the two main things you need to make a good animation. This is a good description of an animation. An animation is a moving ju um, jigsaw puzzle where you have to draw the jigsaw puzzle pieces and put them together. My previous video was on CSS. CSS is the thing that draws all the puzzle pieces um, separately, like the windows, the person, the rotor, and the tail. Then we use HTML, which is what we're going to be learning today, to piece them all together. You could call HTML the brains. Then we need a command that sets it all in motion, which is where JavaScript, which is going to be the next video, comes in. JavaScript programs these two buttons, CSS makes the helicopter itself, and HTML just orders all the chaos. So let's look at HTML. The first thing you notice when looking at HTML is that one of the main words is div. Div means a small partition of the web page or canvas is devoted to a certain part. You can see that a small part is um, devoted to a helicopter, the fuselage, rotor, small rotor, rotor hole, rotor mount, back, tail, conjoiner, tail white, stripe, landing gear, landing gear 2, gear bottom, window, letter, man head, man head visor, man, floor, ground, helipad, letters, start button and stop button. These are all the classes. Now a class is a styling element which you can use in CSS. If you look at the CSS classes, you'll see that they either have a hashtag in front of them, which means ID, or a dot. For, instance, for example, dot fuselage is a class called fuselage. Now if you look back here at HTML, you'll see div class fuselage. So div class fuselage devotes a small part of the canvas to the fuselage. And when you, do, when you put dot fuselage, now you can change how that part of the animation, how that part of the canvas will look like and how big it will be. So dot fuselage, 
the width will be 350 pixels, the height is 200 pixels. So that is how much space of the canvas is taken. The border radius is 50%, which means that it's curvy. Background color is grey, the border is black and solid, and you can see that it has a positioning. But today is about HTML. Now HTML, like what I told you already, is what puts all the pieces together. And you can't do that without ordering the pieces first. That is why you have all of these little classes. Div ID and div class don't really have a difference. And the only difference is that the ID can be used in JavaScript and div class can be used in CSS. Now, if you look, you'll see that at the top you have a div ID equals helicopter. And then below it, all of them have to skip one line. And at the end, you have a closed div. Now, when you put all of these, in, when you put a div inside a div, it becomes a sub div or a parent and child. So now you have helicopter. And inside helicopter, you have fuselage, rotor, small rotor, etc. You can use HTML to write stuff. HTML is what you would use to type. CSS cannot give typing and neither can J JavaScript. So that's where HTML can also help. You can see that I have written VIAT and program by VIAT. Those are the only two parts where I actually have to um, write. As you can see, Viet is on the helicopter strike and program Viet is on the helipad. On the buttons, you can see that I can I've written take off and land. If I change land to stop. you'll see that now the word which used to be land has changed to stop. It is very helpful to put divs inside divs. If you put fuselage, rotor, small rotor, etc. inside one big div called helicopter, you won't have to animate every single piece just to move them. For example, if you want to animate the helicopter moving up, turning left, leaving the screen, coming back, and then landing on the helipad, you would have to do a lot of copy and pasting to put them all in the fuselage, rotor, small rotor, um, rotor hole, and all of these classes. But if you assign them just to helicopter and put a lot of classes inside helicopter, they will all move as one. I have also done other divs, such as div class, man head, man visor, and man. You usually put div class, you usually put divs inside divs if they are related to each other. For, inst for instance, man head, man head visor, and man are all related to one subject, the pilot, which you can see in the window. If you put them all together, then it's easier to see, and it gives the reader a lot more understanding of what's happening. Also, floor, ground, helipad letters. These are all relating to each other because those are the only parts which are not moving with the helicopter. The floor doesn't move with the helicopter, the ground doesn't move with the helicopter, the helipad doesn't move with the helicopter, and neither does the letters. Now, all of those elements stay in one place. So it's helpful to put them all in a separate div. In HTML, you can also put JavaScript button ID. In the JavaScript, you can make buttons and you can activate functions in CSS. I've also put the buttons in a separate div as they are relating to each other. So an overview of HTML is that it connects lots of complicated puzzle pieces to a nice organized uh, structure.
I have the helicopter structure, the man structure, the floor structure, and the button structure. So thank you for watching today's video on HTML. My next video will be on JavaScript and it will be the last tutorial of this subject. I am also working on a rocket animation which I will be showing to you very soon. Thank you for watching, visit my website, watch my YouTube channel and bye!